హాయ్ హలో నమస్తే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ సో వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ హేమద ఎక్స్ప్రెసివ్ థాట్స్ కొత్తగా మన ఛానల్ ఎవరైనా చూస్తూ ఉన్నట్లయితే ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి రెడ్ కలర్లో ఉంటుందండి దాన్ని ట్యాప్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అనే దాన్ని తర్వాత ట్యాప్ చేసిన తర్వాత పక్కనే ఒక బెల్ ఐకాన్ వస్తుంది దాన్ని కూడా ట్యాప్ చేయండి సో ఇవాళ చూపించబోయే కిట్ వచ్చేసి బిఎం బ్యాలెన్స్ మాడ్యులేటర్ అనమాట సో ఈ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ ఎలా చేస్తారు అవుట్పుట్ వేవ్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఏంటి ఎలా కనెక్ట్ చేయాలి అవన్నీ మనము ఈ వీడియోలో చూసేద్దాము సో వీడియో అయితే కంటిన్యూ అయిపోతుంది చూసేసేయండి ఇక ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ మాడ్యులేటర్ ఆర్ డబుల్ సైడ్ బ్యాండ్ సప్రెస్ కెరియర్ మాడ్యులేటర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ యాంపుల్ మాడ్యులేటర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ యాంపుల్ మాడ్యులేటర్ హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ యాంపుల్ మాడ్యులేటర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు సప్రెస్ ద కెరియర్ we have to suppress the carrier and we have to transmit the signal whenever we have to suppress the carrier at the modulated output here we have to reduce the wastage of power and we have to increase the efficiency this is the main advantage we are using balance monitor and one more thing here we are using the detector is the synchronous detector synchronous detector just like it is one product monitor after then here we are using low pass filter and finally we will get the demodulated output for three here also three different conditions under modulation over modulation critical modulation in this synchronous detector circuit under critical modulation also we will get the perfect output so first we will see this is the modulating signal this modulating signal frequency is 5 kilohertz and amplitude is 0 to 5 volts here also by using tl084 trans ics and by using some rc components we will generate one modulating signal that frequency is 5 kilohertz next here this is the carrier signal this carrier signal is having 100 kilohertz frequency 100 kilohertz frequency here also we are using tl084 ic and by using some rc components we are using, we will design uh, already they are designed one carrier signal and it is having 0 to 5 volts amplitude and 100 kilohertz frequency these two signals are applied to this balance modulator this is one balance modulator just like one product modulator by by using triple five ic timer we can generate this dsp but here we are using mc1496 ic by using this mc1496 here they are generated one dsp output here we are applied the modulating signal and here we are applied the carrier signal these two signals are applied to this modulator circuit and here we will get the dsb output this dsb output is connected to the synchronous detector here this dsb output and here one extra carrier signal also connected in the synchronous detector circuit and here they are suppress the carrier what is the modulating signal here we are applied same here we are seeing here also we have seen three different condition under modulation over modulation critical modulation in these three conditions we will get perfect output there is no distorted output in this balance monitor this is the main advantage by using balance monitor this is our modulating signal we are connected this is positive and this is negative so this cro here this modulating signal which is having 5 kilohertz frequency which is having 5 kilohertz frequency and the amplitude is here the amplitude is 5 into 10 10 volts peak to peak 5 into 5 into 2 10 volts peak to peak or 5 volts 5 in is 5 volts this is the modulating signal this is the modulating signal next here this is the modulating signal by using tl084 we have generated this modulating signal next it is having frequency 5 kilohertz next this is the carrier signal here this is the carrier signal this is the positive signal and this is the negative signal and this is the carrier signal and it is having amplitude maximum three volts maximum three volts it is the range is 0 to 3 volts here in this kit they are designed only 0 to 3 volts the carrier signal amplitude is maximum 3 volts and here the frequency is 100 kilohertz here we are we are adjusting this time for division we will get this output waveform and it is having frequency 
and it is having frequency 100 kilo. Next, these two signals are connected to this balanced monitor. These two signals are connected to this balanced monitor. Modulating signal, this is modulating signal, and this is carrier signal. These two signals are connected, this balance monitor, and we will see the output waveform. Here, so, if, which one we have to adjust, madam? Here, for three conditions, whenever we want under modulation condition, we want under modulation condition. This modulating signal we are adjust is P1 point, and this carrier signal we are adjust P2 point. Means here, this P1 and P2 means this modulating signal is amplitude is this modulating signal amplitude is less than this carrier signal in this condition. Here we will get the this type of output from under modulation condition. Here we will get this under modulation condition. This is for adjusting this potentiometer is adjusting for any. Next, this is the under modulation condition. We have to adjust this modulating signal. We will get this is over modulation. This is over modulation. Next, here we will adjust with the help of this amplitude modulating amplitude. We will get this critical modulation condition. This critical modulation. Condition. By varying only this one. This one. Here this carrier signal amplitude is only 0 to 3 volts. So here, here we have to adjust at P2 point here. Constant it is. This P2 point is adjust and here we have to adjust this modulating signal amplitude from minimum to maximum. Whereas it is maximum we will get over modulation and we have to adjust critical modulation and modulation. For three different conditions, here we will get this type of, for critical modulation condition, we will get this type of output wave. Here we have, this is the critical modulation condition. See here, next, this is the under modulation condition. Under modulation condition. Here we have to adjust the amplitude and we will reduce the amplitude. And this is the over modulation condition. This is the over modulation condition. So for three different conditions, what, I, what is the output waveform here we will observe. Here we are using the synchronous detector. Here in the synchronous detector we are using this MC1496 IC. This is also one product monitor. Here this is one input is DSB input. This DSB input is connected here and another input is carrier input here. These two signals are multiplied first after then higher harmonic components are reduces or de dis deleted and finally what is the signal, modulating signal is there, that signal here appear at the demodulated side. Next we will see, we will connect this demodulated output. This is the
here this is dsb output this dsb output balance mounted output or um, balance monitor or double yes. side band balance monitor monitoring output is connected to the demonitor and here we will connect carrier signal also see here this is one carrier signal here we will connect this carrier signal also so here these two signals are connected to the synchronous detector synchronous detector means just like product modulator here in this product modulator these two signals are multiplied and here higher harmonic components are attenuated what is the modulating signal is there that signal appear at the demodulated side here for three conditions whereas under modulation condition see here this is under modulation condition we will get this type perfect of perfect output, output. Mm -hmm. whereas in this over, over modulation also we will get perfect output mm -hmm. critical modulation this sorry this is critical modulation this critical is critical modulation critical modulation mm -hmm. yeah. critical modulation condition also we will get this, this output under modulation also whereas here in this under modulation condition also we will get perfect output here in this balance modulator we will get under modulation over modulation critical modulation for three conditions we will get perfect, perfect output, output. When compared to this over modulation, over modulation we will get perfect output. When compared to previous one, but it is useful for both under modulation, critical modulation, and over modulation. This is the double segment suppressed carrier. Future also called balance modulator. Balance modulator. Kit is this is future ticket. Here we are using the kit is future ticket. సో చూసారు కదండి బ్యాలెన్స్ మోడ్లేటర్ ఎలా చేయాలో సో ఇది అనమాట ప్రొసీజరు అండ్ కనెక్షన్స్ చూడండి ఫైనల్గా ఇలా ఉంటాయి అనమాట టు గెట్ ద డీ మోడ్లేషన్ ఆన్ చేస్తే వచ్చేస్తుంది సో ఈ వీడియో కనుక మీకు నచ్చినట్లయితే ప్లీజ్ లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి అండ్ వీడియో రిలేటెడ్గా కమెంట్ కూడా చేయండి థ్యాంక్ సో మచ్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్